I'm Elaine. And I'm Justine. And this is... What the fuck? On the road. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, we are very much still on the road. What did he say? His last name is Dollar Hyde. Dollar Hyde. Cowboy. So Dollar Hyde. Dollar Hyde. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. He's a sweetheart. So you're gonna take your coat off, or you're gonna do a strip show? So let me <laughs> entertain you. Well, she, 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 doing she, a, this she is our holiday the... segment. So I have my my holiday winter coat on with the rabbit fur. Ooh, where's Peter when you need him? <laughs> That's why I love my coat in Portland, because I'm like, please, please, you wear all your new, you know, manufactured, Syn synthetic. synthetic materials, you know what, and I'll just keep my vintage coat that I've had for a long time, reline it. Well, the thing is, once it's dead, it's dead. You should, you know, why throw it away and bury it? What you kind know? of animal is that? I don't know, I've been told it's rabbit fur. Looks like Foxy Fox. Foxy Fox? Yeah, I'm the Foxy it's, Fox. It's, I know. This is... It's mm. <laughs> well, right. kind of chilly in here. Is so everybody I ready? No, 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 oh. no. Whatever well, you guys normally do. Yes, normal. You're like, normally, normally we turn the heater off. <laughs> what? Hello, pretty baby. Pretty baby, pretty baby. Look at you. You don't have any little hands, do you? You don't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> Pretty beautiful. I just love roosters. Cockerels. He's a little cockerel. Boo, 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 boo. But he can stay here because this is a business. And you don't bother anybody but the trucks. Yeah, look at you. Look at those <laughs> feathered feet. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Uh, yeah. He's got like a, he's, it's like a second pair of wings. Oh, he's got, he's got a little. wingspan. Wide tail. Oh yeah, what's that going on with him? Oh, that's just some irritation on his foot feathers. All right, are we? So... Uh, we don't have our drinks. <laughs> so this is an early morning shoot, uh, and uh, so we're going to all. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. We're, uh, we're going to be toasting okay, here to our first time. In uh, one of Portland's premier, premier, uh, premier, premier, organic food uh, feed supply store. This is Naomi's Organic Farm Supply in Southeast, beautiful Southeast Portland, gorgeous uh, industrial district. <laughs> what is it? Twenty six. I think they call it up and coming. Twenty six yes, and, and northeast, <laughs> southeast. <sighs> Holgate. 26 and Holgate. Mm -hmm. No, no, we're two blocks off of Holgate. Two blocks Schiller. Of Schiller. Holgate. Yes. You know. Yeah. Okay, so I'm Elaine. And I'm Justine. And this is <laughs> What the, the Clock, clock the on the Road. <laughs> oh, oh yes, we are very much still on the road. And we have with us uh, from Naomi, Naomi's, I'm sorry I keep pronouncing that wrong, we, we have Carissa. Mm -hmm. Was it Alban? Mm -hmm. Alban. Ah. Who were? Come on in. Come on in, girl. <laughs> so she's going to be uh, showing us this, sh this shop. This is the first time we've ever been been here, and this is their uh, cockerel named. What is this? Toussaint uh, Dollar Hide. <laughs> Do Toussaint Dollar Hide. That's yeah. his whole name. Yeah, that's his whole name. And you said he's a, a French cowboy. A French cowboy. <laughs> Oh, those friends, they love cowboys and Indians. And later on, we'll, we'll let him cluck like a hen later on. <gasps> later on, you get to cluck? Good. Yes. So one of the things that we're looking at mm -hmm. is uh, the holiday season coming up. You know, mm -hmm. Christmas and Hanukkah and uh, God knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. Chinese New Year's, you name it. All sorts of stuff. And since uh, we need to get gifts for our chicken lovers, mm -hmm. we thought perhaps that you could show us some things that would be wonderful to buy for chicken lovers for mm -hmm. the holidays. Yeah, we actually thought about it for a couple of days, and there's a range for chicken lovers. There's the nerdy chicken lovers that want to sit with a 
in the winter with a cup of tea and read a chicken encyclopedia and learn everything they can and just shove their brains full of knowledge. Mm -hmm. There's somewhere on the spectrum towards nerdy people who want to plant some cover crop as like range for their chickens, different grasses and things for them to eat and especially in the spring. And then there's people who just want cutesy chicken stuff like little chicken tattoos or postcards or things like that. So there's kind of a range. Um, and we'll just maybe walk around the store mm -hmm. and I'll just point things out. Do you want me to show you the nice feed that we yeah. talked about? All right. So there's a company in Washington that Ooh, is chicken. fairly new, but is doing a really nice job. So we'll just let everyone know the scratch and peck feed. It's a mash style, so you have to like mash style. Um, if you like pellets, there's always the organic payback. But the mash style is just whole grains, round together, not cooked, not processed. And they just recently got certified non-GMO. And then they're also, they have all organic certi certified organic ingredients. So Is, Isn't this what uh, they, the previous, where were we last? It looks uh, familiar. It's probably I've seen it the before. Same. It's really popular right now because they do a really nice job. It's just high quality. Yeah. So and this is a no soy, no corn, and then they have one no soy that has corn. It's like special corn, you know, not jam. Yes. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say, why would um, our chickens love corn? They do. It just depends it's on if you love corn or not. Because oh. some people with corn, it's the same with soy, where it's just really overproduced, a lot of it is genetically modified, people don't trust it, it's kind of oh, going towards, the yeah. price is going up, it's going towards biodiesel, it's kind of just yes, a, yes. as you would say, political. It's political. It's political. And so I would say chickens as well love corn. Yes, they do. If you don't love corn, then you get an option for a oh, corn free feed. You don't okay. want to put your money towards that. Okay. If you do want corn, the corn in the scratch and peck feed is grown in Washington. Oh, as wow. fancy as it gets, you know. <laughs> it is. It's creme de la creme. It's, it's, like it's super basically fancy. not the corn that was made where I'm from. <laughs> right. <laughs> South exactly. Dakota. <laughs> yeah, it's not South Dakota or Kansas. Which is going to be definitely. Definitely bioengineered right. and uh, yeah. licensed. Who's the big Monsanto? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the big Who's Monsanto? Yes. <laughs> that's yeah, the everyone big. Everyone that's growls. like a swear yeah. word around here. Yeah. Is Monsanto. Oh, oh, we do oh. have. We do have a little <laughs> activist section that has a lot of the like books and DVDs about Monsanto and GMOs and all that kind of stuff. If you ever yeah. want to educate yourself on that kind of thing, yeah. so we have books written by Vandana Shiva and all that kind of stuff about the world. And yeah, that Monsanto people can and the bad people. educate themselves. Yes, we have yeah. a lot of education. About, I was wondering, I didn't quite hear, I was getting a little more <laughs> breakfast. Um, is corn 100% uh, nutritious for chickens when they're older? I Do you mean only feeding them corn? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I've heard of that. I can't but I don't imagine, think so, yeah. I cannot imagine that a diet of any one thing would be great for yeah. anybody. Because they, they love all kinds of stuff. Yeah. I just think that it wouldn't give enough of variant of like oh, this is really cool. nutrients and minerals. Yeah, so Scratch and Pet gave that to us as a sample of like all of their products. Ah. Oh. So it's just kind of oh, like a brilliant. little. Brilliant. Isn't that cute? Yes. Totally brilliant. Okay, I just like them for how <laughs> marketing, they're, they're just brilliant with yes, their marketing. Yes, yes. You can also stick those under a, a hen and get her broody, right? Yeah. So, how many chickens do you have? I have almost 20 in my uh, backyard. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you sell the eggs? Yes. Oh, good, good, good. So, I would be an urban yield. farmer. An urban farmer. <laughs> yes, you would be. <laughs> under your uh, definition. Under my how definition. convenient. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also have a small CSA. I will have. Oh, one. okay. Oh, oh, how many oh. customers? Do you have customers signed up yet? <laughs> <laughs> I just moved into my house this year. I had okay. one friend who wanted to be my CSA member out of my backyard. She came over. She was like, so can I? <laughs> She's like, can you just CSA me? And I was like, sure. Why not? Yeah. It was fun. It was really fun. So what's your yield then for uh, eggs? Yeah. Uh, I have four of my girls are older, so okay. they're pittering out a little bit, but I have 16 that are, or no, I have 12 that are pullets. 13 that are pullets, and then I have one older girl who's just kind of a clown that I enjoy. What's her name? Sally. 
She's pretty crazy. <laughs> she just stares at things and goes, well, oh, she, my good. <laughs> I actually adopted her from a local farm. Oh. She was a little bit older, so we took her on just kind of for fun, and she immediately went to the top of the pecking order, which I respected, because she did it in a very <laughs> nonviolent way. Wow. Really? Yeah. Ooh. So Ooh. I, I didn't really queen like... Yeah, here. so she's pretty impressive. She was actually... Our actual queen is Johnny on the spot, a bard rock, naturally, and um, she let her. It was very strange. I don't mm. know. And she's an Australorp. Sally's an Australorp. So the only problem is Sally's very loud. <laughs> very loud. Very obnoxious. Very loud. And so for a while, she was really on my shit list. And, and now she's gone broody. And it's winter, oh. so I don't mind, because she's not really throwing off the egg production or anything. And she's just so funny. Like, we actually thought something was really wrong with her for a little while, because when you pull her out to, like, make her run around, she does the craziest little dance and the, makes the weirdest sounds, and I've just never seen a chicken do this. We, like, thought something was, like, neurologic, <laughs> neurologically wrong with her. Can you show us what she does? Oh, I really, I know. I'm Could you tell me, Lane, you can do it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, she kind of, like, stomps her feet like this, and he's like, <laughs> And she like does this weird little thing and she'll like, come here and she'll just like do these weird little like like almost spasms but like longer than a spasm and she just does you should come over to my house. She does these dances, it's just like so funny. Oh I love it. And she'll just it. like shoot across the lawn and be like bah, 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 bah. and she'll like shoot back across like bah, 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 bah. and she won't do anything. She'll just be like crazy. And so I kinda I'm really like liking her right now because she's crazy and she wants babies and we don't have a rooster. So she sits and I'm like, honey. It's not gonna work. I know, right? <laughs> He's like, let me at her. I know. Let me at her. Right? <laughs> so her and I, we have these talks, you know. I'm like, they're just the eggs aren't fertilized, honey. They're just not gonna. It's not gonna work. But I, but you know, I feel where she's at, and she's crazy, and I'm just gonna. I feel that, so I'm gonna let her be crazy. I know where she's at. You know. <laughs> yeah, come spring, if she's still broody, you can get some fertilized right, exactly. eggs. Exactly. Someday. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll, she'll lay on some, or she won't be broody anymore. I just, I can meet her in that crazy spot, space, you know? <laughs> so I'm enjoying her a lot, actually. Yeah, I had one hand that went broody and just refused to break brood yeah. until I got her some babies. Yeah. And so I got her some, uh, they were probably about three or four days old, and I opened up the, the back of the mm -hmm. coop where she was sitting, and she goes, wah, 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 right, wah, right. wah, <laughs> <Right>. babies, ah! <laughs> So it happened. It happened. Yeah. It happened. I know. And because she worked her way up to the top of the pecking chain, she'd be a fine mom, you know? She, yeah. Because I wouldn't want a broody hen who's at the bottom. Because I feel like she wouldn't have as much clout to protect, you know? Mm. But Sally's just like, bring it. Like, she's like, what? You know? <laughs> so... Yeah, oh, so I got a bunch of chickens at home. Great. Have we, have we seen it, all, seen it all? Is there more good stuff oh, here? Oh, you know, there's always organic straw. If you ha want to throw that in your run, there's some seeds. Yeah. They always like to eat the seeds. Oh, and you've got the, the steel exactly. buckets up there. Exactly, and we've got the steel buckets the for the ant bale. Very key if you're going to have bales at locks. Storing your feed. Yep. The, the, next to the biggest size, I know, <laughs> takes a huge uh, uh, bag of, 50 yeah. pounder basically. Yeah. I think the 10 gallon takes 50 pounds. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yep. And if you did want, you know, 40 pounds of black oil sunflower seeds as a high protein <laughs> for the winter, or if you did want 40 pounds of scratch, you know, it's totally, you can buy a huge bag and then and keep it in there. And it, it keeps it safe because Justine and I would, would share a, a bunch of steel buckets and just perfect. And then with So the, that we wouldn't have to share rats. Yeah. And <laughs> then we put some dietation. Diatomaceous earth. D-E in there, okay. and of course the rest of it went in the garden and stuff because sure. it's good. And then uh, the eggshell and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh! Yep. <laughs> What's the oh, matter, yes. baby? You got locked up. That's why he's crying. You could probably get him to talk like a hen if you want. Down the hide! Down the hide! Down the hide! Down the hide! <laughs> he's doing this little boy dance. Yes, I can't figure out. I'm not working very well with getting it out, boy. Here, it's it's called. Uh, you have to get down further, I think. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, I'm glad someone made you in engineering. <laughs> Come here, Galahide. Come. Come. Oh, feathers. He's I love chickens. I'm so sorry. He can also run around here. Oh, which reminds me. Yes. I, I've, I've got a note here on our uh, 
was a, one time around we were uh, talking about we lost our 100 likes, and, but we did get, ooh, who farted? Was it you, boy? Did you poop? <laughs> yes, I think he pooped. Woo! That's You've been feeding them good stuff. <laughs> that into the compost with that bath, yes. <laughs> so, uh, Crystal Land Holland from Portland was our hundredth, second hundredth liker, and we'll get in touch with with you, Crystal, and figure out how to get all of our goodies to you, and especially your refrigerator magnet. That's perfect. And then we wanted to give a shout out to uh, <laughs> Phil Bradley of, of Gresham, Gresham <laughs> who saw our, our show that yep. said we... And then immediately went, went there, to, went to our page to like us, so... All right. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo.